Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today in this video I'm going to check the Fire Phoenix 1407-3700kV brushless motors from AOK Fly. In this video I'm going to perform some benchmark testing, then finally use them to build my Itom V4 4-inch quadcopter and then take them outdoors to see how they perform. Let's start by having a look on the motor itself. So inside we're getting the motor, four screws and the nut. These screws are very short and for example, they are not going to be long enough for my Atom V3 build. You can see these are very short screws that are going to be enough to include at least five screws because four is just not enough. Let's measure the length of the silicon wire. So the length is about nine centimeters, which should be more than enough for three inch builds and probably the only similar motor that I have in hand right now is the Dayton Edge Racing 1408-4000kV motor. You can see also that they are very similar. Of course, the base over here is protected, whereas over here it's exposed. The weight of the LK Fly 1407 motor is about 15 grams, and the weight of the Dayton 1408 motor is almost 17 grams, so there's about 2 grams of a difference. So now my thrust stand is ready and I'm going to test this motor with two batteries and two type of propellers. First of all, I'm going to use the Genfen Flash 3052 propellers. Then I'm going to test it with these four inch propellers that I got long time ago from Rotor X. And both of them I'm going to test with this 3S LiPo battery and with this 4S LiPo battery from CNHL. I'm having some issues with my ampere readouts, so they are not reliable. So the thing I'm going to concentrate is on the thrust. So let's start with the 3S battery using the Genfen Flash propellers. Now moving on to 4S batteries. Motors are a bit hot, but not that hot. So now I'm going to change it to the 4 inch propellers and see how the motors perform. So, again, starting with the 3S battery. Motors are getting a little bit hot, so I don't want to push them, but you can see that we got a lot more thrust using the 3S battery with the 4-inch propellers than the 3-inch propellers with the 3S battery. Now I'm going to move on to the 4S battery, and hopefully I'm not going to burn the motors, so let's see. Okay, so I'm smelling a little bit of burn smell, so this is not a good sign, so I'm going to stop here. So that was the little small benchmark testing for these motors. And I'm the next thing I'm going to do is to complete this build of the Rotorix Atom V3 4-inch quadcopter using the LK Fly 1407 motors. You can see I've already got the AGRC F428 all in one stack in the middle, which makes the build very easy. All I need to do is just to add the motors, FEV camera and the receiver, and this is probably not going to take me long. And then I'm going to head outdoors to see how these motors perform. I hope you enjoyed the rest of this video. As always, if you have any questions about these motors or about this build, feel free to ask it in the comment section down below. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up if you like this video and consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the notification bell if you're new to the channel. See you on my next videos and goodbye.